Yo, what's up, crew? Welcome back to the show. It's your partner, Just Mike. Now, we're back in here, back on some Madden 16, and we got new additions to the final edition, man. We get 97 overall, Jason Houston, and it takes six items to complete his set, and it takes Darius Slade, Gary Barnich, Giovanni Bernard, Daquan Jones, and Dante Moncrief. Now, we're going to go ahead and check out my binder because I actually did pick up two of these guys already. And uh, just we had to get this guy, Dante Moncrief, man. And this guy is a beast. I mean, he's definitely a speed demon. We just had to pick him up, man. And we're going to go ahead and check out uh, Daquan Jones first really quickly. And this guy, he has nice strength on him. Nice, nice block shedding. Nice tackling, 96 tackle, 97 block shed, 96 strength. But, you know, he's kind of slow. He's kind of slow at 74. And I don't know if, like, he could actually be a really good left end. Like, playing in now and much, you're going to have to have a little bit of speed to you. You know what I mean? And his motor is at 86. So it is a nice motor on this guy. But I would have liked to see his speed be at least 83 to 84. That would definitely have a very big effect when playing this game. But I don't know, man. We just picked him up just in case we decided to do the set. Now, we got Dante Moncrief. This guy, I'm keeping this guy on my squad. He's not going into the set. Trust me, he's not going into the set. We probably get another one if we're going to do the set. But he's definitely not going into the set. Uh, 92 catching traffic. 95 spec catch. 92 catching. Uh, 93 release, 96 jumping, 85 route running, not the best route runner, but it's okay. Not enough elusiveness either, but this guy has 95 speed. And the reason why I picked him up, he has 71 run blocking. All right. And a lot of people like to run Heinz Ward at tight end. Definitely can run this guy at tight end. I'm running Brandon Marshall at tight end right now because Brandon Marshall, I think, has a similar run block. And this guy's going to be a great addition to our team. Now, also, uh, we have Giovanni Bernard and Darius Slay and uh, Gary Barnage. So let's go ahead and check these guys out. Um, I don't know, man. It's good to see Darius Slay get an elite card, to be honest with you. I, honestly, I'm, I'm happy that he got one. A lot of people play with his gold card. It's good to see him get an upgrade. I think Giovanni Bernard, I never really owned a Giovanni Bernard if I'm... If I can remember, I know he, I think he has a base elite and maybe a team of the week card, maybe. But this guy has great stats, man. I mean, listen, 99 agility, 99 juke move, 94 elusiveness, 97 acceleration, 95 carrying, and 93 speed to go along with that. So, you know, he definitely can get up and down the field. And that 87 means he has a high, I mean, that 97 acceleration gives him a high motor. So he's definitely going to feel faster than that 93 speed. Um, let's go ahead and check out Gary Barnich. And Gary Barnich, you know, this guy definitely deserves an upgrade. And this guy has 90 speed, 83 strength, 84 run block, 90 catching, 85 release, 97 catching traffic, and 91 spec catch with 88 route running. Now, I really would have liked Cameron's to see Cameron Jordan get this, but this was good for Barnage. I, I would have rather seen Cameron Jordan get this upgrade, but it is what it is. Uh, the thing about this guy, he's a little slow for me for tight end, but he does have great run blocking, which means that he would probably be great for me as a fullback, and that 90 speed would definitely come in handy. All right, so we probably will pick this guy up, but not for 94K. Uh, let's go ahead and check out Darius Slay. All right, let's go check out Darius Slay. And he's going for 220K, man. Um, but his stats are pretty beastly, man. 97 speed, 95 acceleration, 94 zone coverage, 95 man coverage. Great play rec on this guy. Definitely a guy you want to have on your squad. I mean, he kind of fits in line with, you know, the kind of players that we have now at that position. Um, you know, I definitely would pick this guy up. It's just that right now, I don't know if we would get him for the price that he's going for. 220 is kind of steep. But I think, honestly, I'm going to give you my honest opinion. I think that they made the wrong set hero. I think that Justin Houston should have been the lynch piece here. 
and then maybe Darius Slay should have been the uh, the hero because honestly, I don't know if people are going to trade in that Slade to get Justin Houston because we all know Justin Houston has always been beastly when it comes to the stats, but he's just not fast enough. That's his biggest knock. He's just not enough speed on this guy. So I don't know, man. I don't know if they did the right thing by making him the set hero. And as you can see right here, I mean, listen, there's only three of them out on the market. It's like 11.42 right now, West Coast time. So, I mean, this guy's been out for a while, and to only have three made, that definitely lets you know that a lot of people don't want to make this set because, to be honest with you, who wants to give up a Darius Slay like that to make Justin Houston? And, and like I said, look, his speed is 87. You know, he has monstrous stats. I mean, listen, 99 pursuit. 94 hit power, 97 block shed, 93 acceleration, 94 tackling, 90 strength, and 90 play rec. But it's just, his speed is just a little bit slow. Now, you know, I understand. I don't want this guy to be a 91 speed or 92, 3 or 93 speed even. But to make him 89 or 88 would be definitely a great move. Especially for a guy like this, because at this point in Mutt, he's not going to be able to keep up with those faster receivers, fast running backs coming out of there. The 96 speed receivers, 96 speed running backs who are, you know, darting across the field and dragging across the field. I don't know if he's going to be able to keep up, you know, but it is what it is. Um, you know, definitely I would love to pick this guy up and I'm running them on the line. That block shed, that, that, that hit power, and I'm pretty sure his zone coverage is pretty decent too. Like, you can actually probably put this guy in a purple with a blue from the line and don't worry about it, you know what I'm saying? Well, not a uh, a purple, but you probably can put him in a yellow and definitely not worry, you know? Okay, 73 zone coverage, yeah. So, I would definitely pick this guy up, but I would have to put him on the line. But I'm I'm not paying 400 k for a lineman. That's just not what I'm about to do. That's, I'm not about that life. But if he goes down some, you know, if he goes dip under 90 k I probably would pick this guy up. Um, to be honest, if I pick him up right now, I'm only going to pick him up to sell him. If I could sell him, you know what I'm saying? Like, but I don't know if I do the set to get this guy, not for this price. That's just my opinion though. You know what I mean? But we did get, uh, new Easter players. Let's see who we got. Uh, I think we got a Redskins player and we got a Texans player, if I'm not mistaken. Well, let's go ahead and check this out. Easter. Go with the Redskins. Okay, maybe he's not a 95. Let's see. Okay, yeah, we get Alfred Morris. 80, uh, 82, 78K, okay. It's pretty decent, but, you know, the knock with Alfred Morris has always been his speed. I wonder how much speed they gave him, yep. He has 92 speed, He's, but he has big trucking, 94 acceleration. All right, pretty decent for this guy. Pretty decent for this guy. And also, we have a Texan. Let's see here. I'm thinking it's Marcellus, but I don't know. I could be wrong. Okay, it is Marcellus. thought it was. Now, I actually might buy this guy straight out because this guy, I believe it was this football outsider card played very decent really like really just really aggressive man i can always remember this guy just making great tackles all right 89 speed uh 90 block shed 96 pursuit 95 hit power 986 strength all right this guy's decent and 91 play rec like i say now at this point in mud probably would put him down on the line but he's fast enough he's fast enough to actually stay out on as linebacker definitely fast enough to stay at linebacker and right now he's going for 68 K I'm gonna pick this guy up but not just yet I, I think he's gonna definitely dip to about maybe 49 or maybe at least 52 and I'm gonna come back and get him definitely gonna have gameplay with this guy though we're gonna pick this guy up trust me it's a must we're gonna probably pick him up within the next two or three days definitely um, we did get Ron Parker from this set, and we definitely gonna get this guy too. And we also got a, uh, we also got a large quick sale off of this thing. So we're gonna go ahead, gonna open this up. I got two of them. I think I'm gonna sell one maybe. 
Let's see what we get. Eh, we get a thousand. We get a thousand pieces. That's cool. We get a thousand pieces added to the set. And let's see here. We do have an Easter. We do have one. So we're going to go ahead and just let me see here if we can find it. I think we have one. I think we have two. Okay, we got a large quick sell. Yeah, we do. So we got this one. I see what it's selling for. 29K. What's the most you can get on a large, small quick sell? I don't know. What's the most you can get on a small quick sell? I'm not sure. Is it 100K? Or is it 10K? I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna sell this we're gonna sell this one though for 10k. I'm listen. I might be doing a mistake. I think you probably can get 100k off of a large. No, I don't think you get 100k. We're gonna sell this one right here for 10k. Let's just go ahead and put it up for 10k. And then if we don't, we don't. We do. We do. It is what it is. We'll put it at nine five. We'll see what happens. Maybe it's maybe I'm wrong about that, but we did pick up the Ron Parker though, and I'm saving these eggs. The reason why I'm saving these eggs is because people still need to do the Night Train Lane set, and I think that these eggs are gonna go up in value as you know people use them, and then you know they're not gonna be as available. We'll come around April 9th, I think I'm gonna sell them at April 7th to see if I can uh, sell them for a profit, but I'm not gonna sell them right now. I'm gonna hold on to them. And I'll probably hold on to a few of these players as well. As you can see, they're going up too because of the simple fact that, you know, <laughs> this set is going to be very limited in a minute to do. It's going to end and you're not going to be able to get that Easter edition dick. <laughs> All right. But that's it, man. That's what we got. That's what we picked up. Let's go ahead and check out a quick review of what we got today. And I don't want this video to be uber long. That's probably already too late for that. But we got the Daquan Jones, Dante Moncrief. We also picked up Antrell Roll. And we picked up Haverstein and Charles Woodson. Guy's a beast. Got him for like 181K, I believe. And that's it for this one, man. Uh, listen, man. Final editions are out. Easter eggs are cracked and hatched. I want to know what you guys got. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Check out my last gameplay, Great Come From Behind Victory. And I will see you guys on the next one. I'm out. Peace.